Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, today I'm going to show you guys how you can connect your Joy-Cons for use on PC and Android. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the system settings of your computer or phone. You want to go into the devices section and then you want to add a device and select Bluetooth. Now your UI might be different depending on which computer or phone that you have. Now what you want to do now, I know it says Joy-Con here, but that's because I had connected it from before. But uh, for you guys, it'll usually be blank here like this. So now what you want to do is take your Joy-Con and you can see that there's a little round button right here in the middle of the two shoulder buttons. You want to go ahead and hold that button down. That's the sync button. You just want to hold it down. And then on the computer, you want to go ahead and select the Joy-Con and it'll connect. Now, once it's connected, you'll see that it'll keep flashing here, but that is 100% normal. Now, let's just go ahead and connect the second Joy-Con. Add Bluetooth, and then just go ahead and hold the button down, and then select Joy-Con, and we're good to go. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can use this for emulation. Over here, I have an N64 emulator right here. And if we go into the option section and click on input, then I can change the button mappings for the keyboard, but I can also do the same thing for controllers that are connected to the computer as well. So as you can see, I can go ahead and select the analog stick and then use up, left, right, and down like that. I can map the buttons as well like that. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and test out this thing. Oh wait, one second. All right, now let's test out um, these Joy-Cons with a game. I actually have Smash Bros over here open. So let's go ahead and test it out. Grab the Joy-Cons. And as you can see, while I'm pressing the buttons, it does work. So yeah, as you guys can see, the Joy-Cons are working perfectly fine and there's almost no input lag at all. It may show some input lag in the video, but that's just because of my way of recording. It's a little bit finicky, but it does get the job done though. Now, there is one thing that I have to mention for using this. So, um, this emulator that I'm using right now can accept input from two controllers as one single, singular controller. But some uh, emulators can't do that. So what should you do then? Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this, but there is this app called Anti-Micro. And this basically lets you use your uh, controllers as a keyboard. So basically, once you're going to press a button on the, on the controller, it's going to register as a keyboard um, key press. So over here, as you can see, I'm pressing the left button on the left Joy-Con and it is um, identifying it as H. You can also change it to whatever you want on the keyboard. And the same thing goes for the other one. That way, instead of using the controllers as controllers, you can use them as keyboard inputs instead, which is really, really useful. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.